Tender Ray Beef, no other beef so fresh can be so tender, presents Hearts in Harmony, transcribed. During your visits to your neighborhood Kroger store, you found there's not much chance of getting Kroger Tender Ray Beef. And no doubt you've stopped to chat with your Kroger meat man about the nationwide shortage of meat. Now, in spite of today's desperate meat shortage, Kroger is doing everything possible to get meat. As always, though, Kroger will buy only through legitimate channels at legal prices. But while beef and pork are difficult to get, you'll find an abundance of this exclusive Kroger feature at your Kroger store, a main dish guaranteed to delight your family. It's Kroger's Selected Seafood, tender, firm-fleshed seafood that is rushed delivered to your Kroger store. And what a variety. There's saltwater and freshwater fish. Fish for baking, frying, and broiling. Once you try Kroger Selected Seafood, you'll agree that it's the finest flavored seafood in town. That rich, tangy flavor of the sea is yours because Kroger Selected Seafood is rushed delivered to your Kroger store. That means you can buy with confidence of getting seafood with that wonderfully delicious, fresh-caught flavor. So visit your Kroger store and treat your family to a delicious shore dinner of Kroger's Selected Seafood. And now, Hearts in Harmony. Because of a business opportunity too good to turn down... Jed and Grace Billings, Penny Gibbs' foster parents, may leave Rossville. But they have 48 hours to decide and are using that time to find out whether or not Jerry Manson is really in Rossville. In Penny's own home, however, are two people seemingly oblivious to Penny's problems. Oh, Dad, darling, shh. You must not make so much noise. It will wake the baby. Oh, it's not all right for her to wake up, Suzanne. Some daughter I have. All she does is sleep. <laughs> Except when we try to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder why that is. You think she's going to be a night owl when she grows up? Oh, I don't think we'll have to worry. The nurse at the hospital told me she will soon know the difference between night and day and act accordingly. No kidding? Mm-hmm. Well, well uh, how do babies find out the difference? Well, I don't know if it's the truth or not. And the nurse said that all babies are not alike. But it has something to do with feeding. If you're strict about feeding habits, it helps the baby to recognize that there is a time for eating, a time for sleeping, and even a time to be noisy or quiet. Why, I don't know how a baby can figure that out. I can't see any sense in it at all. (laughs) Well, perhaps I expressed it badly. We'll have to see how it works before we understand it ourselves, I suppose. I guess I'll never understand anything about babies except... But they're little and they're cute and they're amazing. <laughs> yes, and always the most beautiful baby in the world. Don't yeah. forget that. Yeah, isn't that silly how everybody says his baby's the most beautiful in the world? <laughs> yes, it is silly, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. How can that be? There are, well, I'll say maybe a hundred brand new babies in Rossville alone. And how can they all be the most beautiful? Well, only ours is the most beautiful baby in the world. <laughs> oh, Pat, you're a darling. But you're just as silly as every other father. Oh, what makes you say that? Well, you were just criticizing parents for thinking their baby's the most beautiful in the world. And yet you've just said the same thing. Well, heck, it's the same thing. My daughter happens to be the most beautiful in the world. Yes, darling, I think you're right. You bet I'm right. Oh, I I am the happiest guy in the world, Suzanne. Wonderful wife and wonderful daughter. Darling, don't overdo it. it. It's embarrassing. Oh. Well, maybe you aren't the two most wonderful girls in the world, but I think so. And I hope you'll always keep on thinking so. Valerie would like it. Hmm. Miss Valerie Gibbs. Ah, that's not bad. Well, then may I come in and see Valerie? Oh, hi, you, sis. <laughs> hi. Penny, I didn't hear you come in. Oh, I put the car in the garage and came in the back way. Well, how's my niece this evening? As perfect as ever. What do you expect with a perfect father? Oh, really? (laughs) Oh, she is a good baby. I hardly ever hear a sound out of her. You did not hear her last night? Nope, not a sound. Well, uh, maybe howls don't carry as far as I thought. I was sure the whole neighborhood heard her (laughs) yelling last night. I guess maybe I heard a whimper or two. Oh. Penny, only a whimper? 
<laughs> it was only a whimper to you, was it, Penny? Yep. I consider that an insult. I'll have you know my daughter can yell louder than any other baby in Rossville. Oh, Pat, you forget that the baby who does not cry is considered the good baby. Uh-uh. Only the people who have babies that aren't smart enough to cry. Okay. <laughs> well, on that score, Valerie's a genius in your estimation. Yes, and when she learns to do other things, she'll keep right on being a genius. Well, she's already a genius with a bottle. And it is her feeding time almost. Excuse me while I heat it for her. Can I help you, Suzanne? Oh, no, thank you, Penny. Everything's ready. Well, if you do want help, call me. Say, you look great tonight, sis. Mm-hmm. Do I? Do I know why? Maybe, uh... Because you're just naturally good to look at? Well, well, well. I'm doing almost as well with you as Valerie. <laughs> what? I think you're both great. With a slight but uh, very slight edge going to Valerie, if you don't mind. Oh, no, I wouldn't want it any other way. Would you uh, like it sung instead of spoken? Are you hinting that you'd like to sing? Well, I have a ready-made audience. <laughs> She's got to like it, too, or I'll take it out of her allowance. How much are you going to give her each week? Well, enough. She isn't spending much these days, I... I think maybe she's saving up for one big, expensive blow. Oh, maybe you better sing that. The longer you talk, the sillier you get. I can get sillier. No, not much you can. <laughs> what would you like to sing? Oh, what most everyone else sings, a song. Oh, you better stop talking here. See what you can do with this. Oh, oh this is going to be a cinch. And all so good. Just listen. For you, for me. Forevermore, it's bound to be forevermore. It's plain to see we found by finding each other the love we waited for. Oh, I think we better save it till little Valerie wakes up of her own accord. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Ah, fine thing, though. My favorite audience sleeps all the way through my okay. performance. <laughs> Just as well she did, Pat, or you would not have been able to hear your own voice. Oh, now, Suzanne, she wouldn't yell that loud. <laughs> oh, I thought Valerie could cry louder than any other baby in Rossville. Well, well, well sh- sure, sure she can. But not when her father is singing. <laughs> well, she wouldn't. She's too smart for oh, that. Oh, sure, we know. She's afraid you'll cut her allowance. <laughs> what are you two talking about? Oh, nothing worth repeating, darling. Oh, look. Look, Valerie's waking up. She's going to be ready for a bottle in a minute. And in a minute, her bottle is going to be ready for her. Oh, I'd like to watch you with it. Then I have to walk down to the square for something. Oh, uh, would you like someone to walk with you, Penny? Yeah, if you'd like to. It isn't necessary, though. Oh, it's a nice night. I think I need the walk. All right with you, Suzanne? Oh, yes, darling, of course. Swell. Well, we won't be long. Just 10 or 15 minutes. It's only a short way to the square. Oh, it's a beautiful night for a walk, isn't it? Oh, it's terrific, Penny. Mm -hmm. Look at that sky. Sure is a lot of it, isn't it? Oh, there can't be too much when it's like this. Nope. Only time there's too much sky is when it rains. <laughs> oh, look, the moon's coming up, Pat. Yeah, right over the courthouse, too. Yeah, it's being bright, isn't it? Sure is. You know, I- I've never been able to figure it out. Figure what out? Why the moon looks so much bigger when it's just coming up than it does when it's pretty far up in the sky. Ask Professor Rogers. He'll tell you why. Oh, <laughs> that guy knows the answer to everything, doesn't he? No, to hear him talk, you'd think so. 
Hey, that sounds as if you don't think much of the problem. No, I didn't mean it that way. I just meant that if you were the professor now and uh, you and I were looking at the moon, mm -hmm. all he'd do is to give me a lot of facts and figures about it. Oh, I, I get it. The prof thinks the moon was put up there to be a subject for a lecture, <laughs> huh? Yeah, you'd think so. You know, honest to goodness, sis, I, I think the prof is hiding behind a Miss wall Gibbs. of... Uh-oh. Well, hey, who's that? Miss Gibbs. It's Professor Rogers. Oh, Miss Gibbs, Pat. Keep on walking, then turn at the end of the block here. Professor, what's wrong? I'll show you what the trouble is. Come on, let's walk. Hey, Professor, you're all excited about something. What's up? Nothing, I hope. But I saw him following you, so I thought I'd better warn you. You saw who following you? I'll show you in a minute. Why, I don't see anybody. Don't, don't turn around, Pat. Oh, oh, sorry. Hey, what is this, anyhow? You'll see as soon as we turn the corner. Here. Now make the turn as if nothing's the matter. <laughs> then we can look back and see him. Oh, Professor, I think you've been reading something besides your textbook. Well, wait till you see him, and then you can decide whether or not it's what I've been reading. All right, we can stop here. Now what, Professor? One of you go to the corner of the building, look across the street, back in the direction from which you oh, came. Oh, Professor, what is this, a peeping game? I hope that's all it is. Now take a look, Miss Gibbs. All right, but I think it's all very silly. I... Good heavens, it's Bill Carver. He's been following us. Yes, ever since you left your house. I was coming up to see you when I saw him start out after you. Well, who's Carver? Uh, that tough-looking friend of Freddy Lang? Yeah, tough-looking is right. Uh, he tried to push his way into your house the other evening, didn't he, Miss Gibbs? Yeah. Uh-huh. And now he's following you. I think that fellow needs watching. Oh, so do I, Professor. I'm afraid of that man. Really afraid of him. Penny is afraid of Bill Carver. If only she knew how wise she is to be afraid of him. Will her fear save her from Carver's promised threat? Or is it already too late? Be sure to listen to the next dramatic episode of Hearts in Harmony. From coast to coast and border to border, there's a desperate shortage of meat. And that explains why there's not much chance of getting famous Kroger Tenderay beef. You can be sure, however, that Kroger is doing everything possible to get meat. As always, though, Kroger will buy only through legitimate channels at legal prices. Now, although there's a shortage of beef and pork, your Kroger store has a plentiful supply of deliciously tender Kroger selected seafood. Yes, your Kroger store has the finest flavored seafood in town. And it's priced for real thrift. So visit your Kroger store and make your choice from the grand variety of Kroger selected seafood. Now your local announcer. <laughs> 